Hello and welcome back to the TNC podcast. We have been on our summer holidays. No, we haven't been to Dubai or Ibiza. We have instead been... Well, Unfortunately. No, it's, no, we haven't. Um, we're not paid enough to go to them at lovely locations. Instead, we've been working our day jobs and mourning the fact we haven't yet signed a player. Anyway, it's episode 51. We are back. We are joined by the lovely Connor Southwell. Good to Hello. see you, mate. How are you? you are currently sandwiched in between exams, aren't you? I am, yeah. So this yeah. is a... And us. Is it a welcome break to come here, or is it... It's nice to get my head out some books, yeah. Yeah. Nice to be here, actually. And yeah. instead get your Talk head some football. inside of some footballing goodness. Yeah. Chris, fire you up, how are you? It's been yeah, a little no while doubt. since we've sat down here. Yeah. The last time we were watching the highlights of the Sheffield Wednesday game. <laughs> oh, um, my God. Has I mean, life gone... In a better direction since then. I mean, someone came up to me at the gym today and said, "Oh, what do you think about Norwich?" And I, and I, and I just, I, I paused for a second. And I thought, "Oh, thank God!" Like, were you I, squatting? I was so time, pleased that I, I'm, I'm so, I'm squat. enjoying mm. the break so much, I, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Mm. Last season was a slog, and I, and as I've said it a million times, I'm looking forward to next season. No excuses. It, it excites me. Do you a lot. feel refreshed, or do you not still, yet. still got a little bit of time? Not yet. To get I'm, through that I'm deep still, period. I'm still getting over Wes, as Connor mm. knows, and um, <laughs> I'm still getting over a few bits and pieces, as are probably a lot of Norwich fans. Yeah. And I don't think that will heal until we we start to show some signs of, um, you know, get, getting some players in the door. Let's let's start there, Connor. Transfers. It, the the crazy season has started in terms of all of these rumours flying about. We've been yeah. linked with multiple. German chaps who I haven't ever heard of, and James Madison has been linked with a, with a lot of a lot of teams as well. Um, that does mean though that no business has actually been done yet. Um, what is going to happen? What do you expect to happen over the next month or so? It's a million dollar question, isn't it? Uh, I'm quite surprised Norwich haven't signed anyone yet, to be completely honest. Um, I'm a bit surprised that not more has happened with it being a shorter window, but maybe it'll happen. Daniel Farker did say the World Cup has an effect, didn't he? That things take longer because of it. Maybe, maybe. Although I don't know how many German second division players are off to the World Cup. So. Well, Jonas Knudsen's off to the World Cup. So. Great shout. Brilliant from Connor there. Brilliant. What, what Just about straight it? through the bullshit there, Connor. I love that. I'll try my other. Love well, that. that's the TNC podcast. Isn't it? <laughs> Let's stop it there. Um, James Madison. Yeah. He's been in the gym the last few weeks. I mean, it's obviously it's obviously a lot of the business is, is down to whether we sell James or not, isn't it? Um, that's obvious in terms of the money that we've got to play with, even though that money won't come in instantly as we need to edu- keep educating our audience. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm open to quite a lot of stuff, really. Um, but what particularly interests me is this goalkeeper situation, mm. particularly um, your, your good friend, Remy, mm. Jack. Well, it, what, what do you think? What do you think? Well, first that, of all, I was slightly disappointed in Nick Masherton because he eluded us into a false sense of security. He said, there's going to be news today. And then the news that was that we're linked to very average loan goalkeepers. Okay. Um, that didn't please me. You've seen more of these keepers than... Dean Henderson. Oh, pause, 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 pause. Dean Henderson. Yeah. He wears Are you a saying short, he's average? He wears a short sleeve shirt. Are you saying he's that average? never pleases me too much with a goalkeeper. Yeah, true. But, uh, but, but um, he's not average, is he? Well, I haven't... I don't know. I well, really he was, watched him play. Well, he was part of Manchester United's setup, was not he? So... Surely mm. he's, he's got to be of some calibre. Well, talk to me about him then, because I haven't seen much of him. Um, I'll get on to why I think it's a ridiculous decision to even be linked with them in, in a moment. Um, I actually had Connor before this podcast say, he whispered in my ear and he said, <laughs> Dean Henderson is much better than Remy Matthews. Okay, why? What, what does he bring to the table? Um, I didn't <laughs> say that. I'll, 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 I'll put a case forward for Dean Henderson. Uh, he was at Shrewsbury last year. Uh, I think he kept quite a few clean sheets. I, the only thing I can see with Remy Matthews is... Same league as Plymouth. Plymouth it's so it's true, Ray. it's true, but arguably did a bit better. Um, although had a full season, Remy had half. Um, Let's not forget in the progression Plymouth went on when course, Remy Matthews got there. I think he kept a lot of clean sheets as well. He did, yeah. um, the only thing I can really think of is that Dean Henderson's better with his feet because I, I can't see an argument, particularly if you, you want to come out and say, we're going to believe in the academy and, and not put someone who's been at the club for 17 years under. Good shout. So amazing, Chris, are we, are we really going to get rid of a goalkeeper that's been at the club for 14 years because he's not good with his feet? Mate, I am, I'm so with you on this, it stinks. And I wouldn't normally say that because I like being amazing. black and white with you. Mm. I, you, know, it, you know, if we want people to buy into the academy vibe, 
the whole coming together family club new culture thing mm. what a great statement it would be I'm not saying that we should just keep someone here for the statement's sake and I also agree with the con- with the context of the argument which is well if there is a, a keeper that is really good quality that, that it's possible to get then fair play Remy's unlucky um, much like you know De- Declan Rudd is a classic case people were disappointed with Declan Rudd but let's not forget John Ruddy was in his prime prime but at that point I think I've seen that argument before and I do agree yeah. with it a little bit Declan Rudd was given the chance Remy Matthews no he was wasn't it. He was in, no, in the Premier League. He had a string he of five, football. He had a string of that's yeah, a chance. Agreed. That's more than Remy Matthews agreed. Had. But he had a string of five, and that that does annoy me actually. To be fair, because Norwich fans have written him off. But he, in those five games in the Premier League, he played the likes of Manchester United, Arsenal, Manchester City. Look, mate, I'm so in the Remy camp. I think he's a top guy. He's clearly got Norwich at his heart, and I'd be extremely disappointed to to, to see him leave based on the fact that he's not going to um, play first team football. He should one million percent be in the mix. But it's just that transition of. We need to get rid of old bloody Mickey McGovern. If not, it's not going to happen, is it? I suppose, Connor, it shows how quiet it's been so far. The fact we are debating quite furiously <laughs> a, a, a link on, um, on on Yahoo Football or whatever it was. Yeah. I suppose the goalkeeper yeah. issue at the moment is probably the least of our worries. If we sign either of these two keepers, you you assure me that they're of a good standard. If we keep Remy Matthews happy days, he's done very well on all of his loan deals and loves Norwich City. The main issue is probably now even more so the striker situation. Mm -hmm. I I hope Nelson Oliveira isn't here next season. There was a lot of hope pinned on the shoulders of Carlton Morris and he's now sadly picked up a a knee injury. If there's ever been more of a reason to sign two strikers, it comes now, doesn't it? They need to, yeah. They haven't haven't got the depth at the moment. Um, They haven't got a choice. No, they haven't got a choice. And (laughs) and I think think Oliveira probably will leave, to be honest. So... Yeah, I think you're looking at two strikers, really, particularly with Carlton out, and I think you'll probably need another loan when he comes back because he's going to have to play football. So, so, so devastating to him because I think this this probably would have been his make or break. Summer. So with you on that. So with you. I suppose the thing is though, Chris, and, and I do like Carlton Morris. I, you know, he's been very do good. Yeah, I do. You like him off last season. You should be <coughs> good enough to be in a sub spend. This is this is the thing I'm about to say. There was going to be a lot of pressure pinned on him. Is he actually good what enough pressure? to be a championship? What pressure has he got? He scored 10 goals in 50 games in League One. Is that a good enough return? Oh, no, but last season, what was the pressure? This season. Oh, no, about. OK. Fair, so if we're enough. going into a, into a championship season in which all of us fans want to see improvement on last year, lots of us want to see a top six finish, yep. is a player that scored 10 goals in 50 games yep. in League One going to be the man to fire you towards that? I doubt it. Does that now mean there's pressure on the board to go out and sign a proven goal scorer? I think... Look, James Madison, very individual talent, but you've got to look at the the case study with James Madison and you've got to say, okay, so this guy went out on loan to, to the Scottish League, which, by the way, is a pile of shite, absolute pile of shite, <laughs> league, b- below League One quality, mm. even watching Celtic play, and I do like Celtic as a club. <coughs> you know, James Madison, you know, he was at Coventry as well, mm. low leagues, and, and look what he's done. Mm. And I've every single time I've seen Carl Morris play, and this is why I'm so gutted, genuinely, because I just, it's the, it is honestly the closest thing that we've had to Grant Holt in terms of size and stature. And I know that's a big statement. I'm not saying he's a future legend, Hall of Famer, going to score loads of goals, but I think we've just lacked that physical. And by the way, what a fantastic touch he has. I'm honestly so disappointed because I, I, I really wanted him to genuinely mm. lead the line this next season. I mean, it's certainly heartbreaking. What, what he does, so I, I don't think he's, he's one you can sort of class a natural goal scorer either. I think what you have noticed with Shrewsbury this year is his link-up play, and midfielders work well off him and score a lot of goals off him. I think John Nolan had the season he had because of Carl Morris. So I don't think he's one you'd pin as a natural goal scorer, but to link the play, which I think is what Norwich have needed at times this year, oh, one million percent. He'd, he'd have been pretty decent at that, I think. I suppose, you know, we might sign two strikers, we might not. Dipping backs. We will. We have to. Well, yeah, I guess. No, we, we have do. to. If they're good enough, that's another question. Yeah. Could Dennis mm-hmm. Sabrody be leading the line on his own? I, I don't David, know. I heard David Strahavka is available. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bring him back. Bring him back. Um, Chris, this whole James Madison situation will rumble on for, for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Norwich are in a strange position, aren't they? Because we obviously want to keep him. He's a fantastic talent. However, the fee that we could possibly get mm. is likely to fund. Mm the two strikers and yeah. the other defender I don't know yeah. we are in a situation where a lot of, of mm. hope is pinned upon I mean, look, Amanda Shoulders who currently has one working knee yeah I mean put it this way there's there's two ways of thinking about it if you keep you know in the business commercial world it's the same thing you've got to keep your best asset mm. James Madison 
one million percent is the best asset this football club's got. Now, what a statement it would be mm. for Norwich City, not just for not just for the neutrals or for the money or whatever, but but for the fans to say, actually, no, screw all of you lot for saying James Madison's off because he's not. He's here, and then. What does that say in terms of getting new players in the door? We've kept James Madison. He's worth £25 million. There's an opinion. Not sure if it's mine yet. I'm kind of on the fence. <laughs> but it's an opinion. The other end is, and agreed, if someone offers you £25 million for James Madison, I think he's worth £25 million. I don't think he's worth twenty. I think that's too cheap. He's £25 million. Take it. Mm. Sad, it saddens me to say, but take it. Because this club needs some short-term cash to make this project work and at the moment we ain't got any I suppose the thing is Connor say 25 million I know 20 to 25 has been mm. the rumoured fee it's probably likely that half of that might go back into transfer funds the rest will be I used it will. okay less 10 million that. I don't know um, less than but well, but even, even let's say 7.5 million pounds mm-hmm. that's not going to buy you two quality players and also replace James Madison is it it's that not, will get no. you a Jack Marriott <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah. I, I think they're in a position where, sadly, they they have to try and cash in on him because of the hole they've got in the finances, which is what twenty or fifteen, twenty million. So they need to fill that in to keep the club afloat, you know. And that's before you've got round to paying wages and absolutely, and then put it, putting it back into the transfer budget. So by the time you've done all that, you're looking. Say you get twenty five million for him. I think you're looking for <laughs> about three of that again. But do you need again. to? But do you need to replace James Madison? Because you say, well, you've got to replace James Madison. Do you? Well, what? Well, Todd Cantwell waiting there. Yeah, possibly. Shout. Possibly. What? Gamble, but... Well, Madison was a gambler last time, wasn't he? Exactly. So what I was going to say, Chris, and I know there'll be a lot of fans <clears> watching <throat> this who will say, well, I don't want Norwich to try and keep the club afloat. Of course, we all want long-term sustainability, but we want to see our club go and progress. Now, do we risk the long-term future of this football club yeah. and go, well, let's not fill the hole for this season. Let's spend £10 million on getting a few players in and let's try and keep Madison as well and go back into the Premier League. This club has made in the last six, seven, eight seasons ridiculous gambles that have not been calculated. Agreed. You know, But surely Steve this Stone would be a calculated risk. Keith Steve Stone should have come in and they're making calculated risks. And, you know, even when we're in the Prem, signing players like La- um, that was was the championship Lafferty was a Prem Lafferty Prem. anyway uh, yeah. so regardless we're signing panic buyers Lafferty Naismith Wolfswinkle was the biggest punt in, on planet earth Leroy Fur was on huge money you know we, we've made all of these gambles now for me we've the fans have got to suck it up and it, and it hurts me to Is say that a that. lack of ambition no I don't I th- because because <laughs> imagine if it goes wrong and then everyone will be moaning that we're in league one or in the relegation zone or we because let's face it if we do sell James Madison and it goes Pete Tong, um, you know we'll be below Ipswich for, for a long, long time, potentially. Mm. So it's not good. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? Um, no, um, Connor. I saw today a bit more transfer news. Um, Rotherham apparently want is it Ben Godfrey. Who else were they? Sean uh, Sean yeah, Rabbit. they also yeah. want Lionel Messi up front. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, Rotherham are a force to be reckoned with, Chris. <laughs> I don't think we've ever won there in the last Do you remember, do you, on a serious note, just a pleasant memory for once when we go to an away game, <coughs> do you remember Gary Hooper yeah. versus Rotherham? Yeah, an absolute thunderbolt. Yeah, that geezer was in his pants yeah. in the stands. That was legendary. Yeah. Been there anyway. twice, and both times I know a strike has been set off for punching someone. Yeah, it was grabbing, wasn't it? Grabbing and then uh, Olivier as well. Yeah. Yeah. Being a liability? What? Yeah. Bring him back. He's a proven goal oh, scorer. Oh, I'll, I'll be <laughs> He'd have to run first. Oh, honestly, I'd be so angry. I'd be so angry with that. I don't think that's going to yeah, happen. Exactly. Um, ben Godfrey is an interesting one, Connor. He's obviously done fantastically well <coughs> Spru- Shrewsbury. was a big fan of Paul Hurst. He's now gone, of course, to Ipswich. We might talk about that a little bit in a moment. Um, but where do you see his future? Is it at Norwich? I think so. Well, I, th- I think a lot of it hinges on how well he does in pre-season. He's got a lot of competition for those central areas, particularly now uh, Teddy signed a new contract. You've got Tribal, McLean mm. coming in as well. And McLean, I forgot about him. Yeah, yeah. so you've got a, yeah. a lot of competition in there now. Francic as well, who, who's improved. So <laughs> you've got a lot of a lot of yeah. options in there. So a lot of it hinges on pre-season for me and, and how well he does, but it wouldn't surprise me if he went back out online. I don't personally want to see that, but it wouldn't mm. surprise me. I mean... It's been all doom and gloom so far. But Connor's just listed all of them midfielders. As well as that, we've got a fairly solid defence. Are we just a couple of strikers away from being a top six side? 
I think we were last season. We managed to keep plenty of clean sheets. Angus did all he could. Um, I still think... So to... is it all that bad then? Uh, well, I don't think it is all that bad. It's just that... It's just that that gamble it's the I just think it's a, it's a funny time to be even recording this podcast because mm. the rumours have all been just yeah. rumours haven't they yeah. there's nothing really concrete about any of them so at the moment we're talking in hope mm. rather than optimism Chris need to make content for the, for the ad revenue yeah sorry over. sorry guys <laughs> keep the roof above our please, please. Um, <laughs> um, right let's move on from, from transfer stuff and let's go on to our favourite Norwich City players holiday destination now uh, of topic. course, we are talking about the, the real big news at the moment. Um, God, we are been, scraping the barrel. <laughs> how, how many minutes are we in to, to this podcast? Uh, we've got a lot of time to fill. We've got a lot of time to fill. Um, we've seen it plastered across the whole of Instagram. Instagram stories, Instagram pictures. Yeah. We've seen the likes of Tim Close go on, on, on the hiking holidays. We've seen Remy Matthews eating chips on Yarmouth Market. There's been a, a, I knew a large you were going to mention contrast. That. I literally um, would have put my mortgage on that. Chris, what's been your favourite player's holiday destination <laughs> so far? <laughs> Mine is Alex Tete in Ghana. He went to Ghana, did he? Yeah, back wow. to back to Ghana, back home. Love what, that. What was he doing? I got so much interest in <clears throat> sweating it out, loving it. Doing some running on the beach. Yeah, did it? Loving life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ghana, not your not your typical holiday destination. Oh, so that, yeah. amazing! Oh, amazing! I, honestly, I I would love to get back to. Oh, you've been? Day. Have you been to Ghana? No, no, no I've been to Zambia. But Zambia. I know they're obviously very different, yeah. but um, they're on the opposite coast actually. But yeah, Ghana. Good, good African culture. knowledge. I don't love know to. if that's correct, but it, I'm is, sure it is. It is absolutely correct, Jack. Lovely. Uh, I've been to Mombasa. One Mombasa, favorite, Mombasa, Mombasa. Yeah, one of my favourite African coastal destinations. Thank you. Um, good. So, sorry, what, what was the question there? <laughs> favourite holiday destinations. Come on. Uh, right, are we are we going to have a right? Because you've teed me up here, so I'm I would have thought you speech. would have gone for a little Ibiza or you like Ibiza. My, my, mine is Ibiza. No, but yeah. I think a few of the players. I don't been think there. it's mine. It's mine. Really? I think so. The players have gone to Ibiza. This. Maybe sure I don't know. That I'm I, sure that someone I would. Someone that I would. But Ibiza is a strange place, isn't it? Because you've got. What strange. You got? By strange, you mean the best place on planet Earth. You've got the kind of the, the disco techno ravers like you go to, and you've also got some fairly idyllic beaches as well. Absolutely, so, best of both worlds. Exactly. Day and night. Right. Heaven. Yeah, day and night. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a dark beach called day and yeah. night. Day yeah. and night. Yeah, kid cootie. <laughs> um, Good tune. Right, so I've got to get this out of the way. Right. God, these people. Right? My moan of the week. Is people oh, wow, moaning. we're going straight in. Yeah, I'm in. Have you got a moan of the week? Oh, uh, you have to. People moaning. Okay, I'll try people before. moaning about where the players go on holiday. Please, stop getting on the players. Just, just hunting. People are literally sitting there on Twitter, refreshing the NCFC feed or Instagram, just waiting for a little moan. Oh, can I moan about that? He's in Dubai. He's in Dubai. Calm down. I mean, God, I'm not calm. But that just irritates me. Right. They've played the season. Let them go on holiday. Would you? Is Just there a, let them go. Is there a certain destination if a player went on holiday that you'd be annoyed with? Suffolk. Absolutely. <laughs> if someone was hanging out in Ipswich, <laughs> right, I would seriously, seriously ask, be asking questions. Suffolk has some, some lovely places. South. What? Wales. No, it doesn't. No, it does. It's nice. South Wales nice. Yeah, South Wales. Yeah, South no, 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 right. South Wales. I'll give you that. And then Ipswich, you've got a port. But apart from that, that's it, isn't it? Mm. And a train station. They're going up in the world. Train stations are <laughs> shit off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, that, that have you has got annoyed hype, me. Have you got a hype of the week? Because we might as well balance this out. Yeah. Hype of the week is... <coughs> I, just, I just said yes, then I don't actually have a hype of the week. What's yeah. your hype? Do you have a hype of the week? Do I have one? You're Mr. Um, Transfers. Am I? Yeah. Oh. You just are. Uh, hype of the week. Here's a hype of the week right. that I can't actually be hyped about. I'm hyped about the new kit. Can't wait to see it. Right. Always late. Why, where is it? Yeah. Are we going to play for the Norfolk show, isn't it? The oh, Norfolk show. Of course. That's right up the Norfolk show, boy. Mm. That's when we release a kit, isn't it? Okay. That's right, nice. Did, did Ipswich release those at the, the Suffolk show a few weeks ago? Who cares? What was that? I do not know. The Suffolk show is a thing, to be honest. Yeah, it Suffolk is. shows is, it, yeah. is a poor man's Norfolk show, isn't it? <laughs> Genu- no, no, genuinely. If you look at the statistics, the numbers, the amount of exhibitors, um, they've got it all wrong. Though. What's your favourite part <laughs> of the Norfolk show? A favourite Free food. Yeah, oh, yeah, food hall. Yeah. The food hall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Stay in there for hours. Oh, the food hall. Yeah, talk to me about that. Yeah. Fa- favourite stand in the food hall? Pork pies. Different types of cheeses for me. Mm. Yeah, I love cheese. cheese. I love I've, cheese. I've Olives. Once, I once had quite a haunting experience at the cheese deli at Norfolk Show before. Right. So I was quite young, and um, I was probably about eight, nine, and was going about cheddar. I think it was Edam Brew. I can't believe we're talking about um, this. <laughs> next thing that pops up is some garlic cheese. Now, I'm quite a yeah. fan of garlic. 
it was the most pungent cheese I've ever tasted. Right. You know when you have a really mature cheese and it kind of tingles the roof of your mouth? Yeah. I had a tingling mouth the whole of the Norfolk show. It, it was horrific. Um, oh, right. it, it wasn't okay. good. I'm all about the garlic stuffed olives. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about that. Olives. You don't? No, I, I, I would have put you as an olive man. Um, <laughs> also, <laughs> also, kettle crisps also have a fantastic stand there as well. They do, yeah, they do. Yeah, you can sponsor us, by the it's way. It's got nice chilies there as well. Chilies? Very, yeah, very hot. It's like chilies. I don't like chilies. Anyway... That's the Norfolk show. Um, no of the week, Connor. Um, you're an optimistic man, but I'm sure this thing oh, bugging you in your he life. Can't, he can't, I can't moan. He can't <coughs> moan. You, t- you, you would moan. You're Come in exam on. season, you shouldn't um, be happy. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's pretty true. Try and moan about Norfolk um, City. Take a side, go on, I dare you. Like them like, Twitter accounts that pop up on transfer windows and just yeah. spout nonsense. That, that winds me up, and then people believe in them. I think that winds me up, but. You know, nothing, I'm, nothing yeah, really yeah, no, no, I'm so with you on that, Connor. Yeah. I'm so with you. We won't Agent, name any names. Agent even though I really, I really want to name names, but I can't. No. Um, because I'm being nice today. You wouldn't want to be reading about marriage, would you? Uh, briefly moving on. <laughs> um, right, Twitter questions. Let's make this. Let's make this a Twitter question. Goodness. God, it must be summer. Um, summer's here. Twitter questions. Um, Dan Clifton. Me. Now I'm going to read. Uh, this is a secondary school history teacher, an avid Norwich City supporter, um, hydrocephalus sufferer, an aspiring author, socialist, we... and proud father. Is that the one so we got in trouble? trouble? Yes, Who Dan Clifton? We got a... no. We, we got did some... get a teacher in trouble. Yeah. Once. No, this isn't him. Um, <laughs> would you have liked to have seen us taking a chance on Graham Potter? Looks uh, an inspired choice <laughs> from Swansea, as opposed yeah. to hiring Daniel Farker. I hear that name oh, like, yeah. instantly. Just don't care. <laughs> I, read, I read quite a bit about him last year about him getting his players to like perform in theatre. So yeah, there's some really strange methods. I don't think he's any bigger of a risk than Daniel Farker was. Really, mm. he's he's from a European league. He's come from the bottom, worked his way up. Good luck to him. I think it's a tough job at Swansea. Um, I can't see him doing anything. A bit of poison either. chalice, isn't it? Something they say. Graham Potter got his players. How do you pronounce it? Oostrands, isn't he? Oostrands. Yeah, Oostrands. Yeah, um, he got his team to perform theatre. What theatre production would you like to see Norwich City go into? Daniel Farg got them into it. Uh, <laughs> Les Mis. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah Les Mis. Yeah. Because we just need some passion. <laughs> we just need some passion. I just think... Who's singing the solos? For, um, who's singing the solos? Grant Hanley. Yeah, no, no way. No? Actually, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hanley's behind. leading, one million percent. Yeah, yeah, good okay. shout. Very, the big very ballads. good shout. get behind them. Yeah. Absolutely. No, yeah. I'd like to see Hanley on a ballad. Yeah. Um, and he also mentions how long before Madders goes. <laughs> a couple of weeks, I don't know, a few months, who knows? A couple of weeks or a few months. Do we see, oh, see precise. Yeah. <laughs> we could sell him in January, by the way. Get more money from them. Or... Might we keep him? We saw his dad put together a lovely video. No, oh, so I've got I've got a weird conspiracy about that. Right, go on. Right, let's right. So let's <clears throat> let's picture this. Okay, so you're James Madison. Mm-hmm. Right. You're James Madison's dad. Okay, you're a graphic designer. I'm, okay, I'm yeah, a talented. Football. He does look a bit like a graphic designer, <laughs> doesn't he? So do I. James Madison's dad. Yeah, loves his son. Obviously, yeah, wants the work for him. <laughs> so proud. He's had an amazing Thanks, season. <laughs> And now, and now he's got the James Madison's got the chance. He has got the chance. He's probably there's probably been offers already for him, right? Come on, of course yeah. there's been. So if you're the dad, mm. what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and just be like, oh, you know what? I'll just I'm just going to let you know whatever happens happens, you know? Or do you put your skills to good use? Do you put a video on the internet displaying your son's ridiculous talent, mm. of which there are lots mm. of? How long was the video? Like seven minutes or something? I think it was actually above ten minutes, which means he gets double ad revenue. Well, he doesn't need it, does he? <laughs> no. Let's be honest. Um, no. Anyway, so, so my point is, I actually think that that video's gone up tactically. Right. And I think James Madison worded it, and I, you know how much I love Madison. Mm. I think James Madison worded it, like, so far. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I just think, I'm mm. reading into it, obviously, mm. but come on, you would. If you're, if you're, Papa, if you're Papa Madison, mm. you're one million percent putting that video out there to try and get your son a big move, aren't you? And, and why not? I'm fair mm. play. Mm. If I'm Madison here, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. Well, I'm... I'm on the phone. Dad, yeah, hello. Um, you've just put up a, a 12 minute montage of me, of my, of my highlights from this season. Yeah. Are you worried you're about to be sued by the EFL for copyright? Hang on, pause. <laughs> Look at this phone case. It's good, that is. Yeah. I've got so it's much fibre, interest here. Who is that on the front of that? Uh, I don't think it's a specific player, but it's, uh, you it's, know, it's yellow and green. It's yellow and green. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Um, yeah. If I'm right Madison, I'm worried that all of my savings are about to be going into paying off the lawsuit that's about to be 
<laughs> and by the yeah, FL yeah. for using. Oh yeah, 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 true. Could have been Norwich City's footage. Don't want to be mucking around with that, do you? Possibly. No, you don't want to mess with the FL. Um, definitely not. Um, Norwich City Central. What's your favourite thing about supporting Norwich City? Good For me, question. it's just being part of a great community and enjoying Grant Hanley's crunching tackles. <laughs> yeah. That was beautifully put. Well done, Norwich City mm. Central. That was good. They are, of course, OTBC creating content for the fans, by the fans. Are they? Yeah. That sounds familiar. <laughs> I think that's what noise. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, quite, I, I guess I'd, I'd point out the community. I think the location of it is, is quite unique in the sense that it's a, it's a one you know one county club, mm. which is quite unique. You know, there's not four or five in the area, and you're sort of fighting for fans in that way. Um, there's, there's. I hope you're not dismissing Kings Lynn. No, of course not. No, no. Good. <laughs> there's a there's a unique <laughs> sense of togetherness I think at Norwich, which perhaps you don't get at other clubs, um, and I think it's perhaps that that togetherness which makes it so special for me mm. Chris yeah I'm, I'm with Connor um, yeah you're, you're, let's talk about it actually your article mm. about the other mm. week absolutely uh, by the way anyone that's not read Jack's article please read it because I think it's super important because a lot of people get hung up on, on the fact that it's a results based business and it is it really is but I think what people tend to realise is actually Going to the game, carried on the Saturday, the the smell of the freshly cut grass, and you know, talking to moaning Dave behind you. That's okay. That's mm. all kind of part of it, isn't it? And just and that's why it was frustrating for us last season because I think we lost a lot of that togetherness. Yeah. And mm. I, and and I think that that togetherness was was built and crafted under in the Lambert era, and I think it's been knocked back, knocked back, knocked back, and now Weber is starting to form it again. Mm. But yeah, that, that, that's personally what I love, and maybe that's what we have to hang on to over the coming seasons because we don't have the money to maybe splash at it like we did in previous no. campaigns so if we're going to get enjoyment out of Carrow, which is why people pay the premium prices we might not have to be able to rely on what we're seeing on the pitch yeah I think you're spot on yeah um, well there's, there's got to be progression this year isn't there particularly for the prices uh, there's so much that hinges on next season I think Farkas contract runs out next summer uh, does it wow. yes okay. yeah he got two years didn't he I think so okay. that runs out next summer I think there's quite a few players out of contract got next summer um, obviously the, the season ticket prices there's, <laughs> with that comes expectation I think again there's going to be the expectation of people expecting us to be top six great comments you know, so wanting us to be um, closer to, to that top six and, and progressing from what we've done this season so there's like, so much that, that rests on it um, but just going back on that on that question I, I think yeah, your article was, was brilliant, and and I think it just highlighted that football is escapism. It's escapism for a lot of things and for a lot of issues, and for a lot of people to sort of overcome certain issues and, and to feel like they're not alone doing it. Mm. And I think that's really important. Mm. Okay, on to Ben Ambrose. He's your friend, isn't he? Well, simply, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, someone's just lost a friend. <laughs> yeah, no, um, he helped me with media. So I'll, I'll, he helped you with media. Me. What did oh, he do? Uh, he taught me about audience, about the audience question. Right. Use, which came up today. Actually, what is your confused. audience? My no, no. It's about uh, how uh, media techs. Uh, it was about audience theory. Essentially, it's quite boring. Right. Okay. We will. Yeah. yeah we move on. That does sound incredibly off. boring. Yeah, he he asked uh, Waitrose or Aldi. Aldi every time. No. Uh, absolutely. Do you know what? He, I, after I saw this question, I said to him, I said, "Yeah, exactly." You sort stink of Waitrose. Of Waitrose. You no, no. I tell you what. No, no, no. Right. So I've been. A, I've been a. Well, I, first of all, I get all of my meals from Protrition, great local food prep company. <laughs> Why are you eating pizza earlier? Uh, no comment. But <laughs> but it's because they haven't delivered their meals yet. But trust me, they'll be there. Was a Tesco's or Sainsbury's man? Wasn't really that fussy. Mm -hmm. um, Club card or Nectar card? What, sorry? Club card or Nectar card? Oh, I don't card. do any of that crap. Oh. Uh, it's complete tosh. Don't get that word. But, <laughs> but Waitrose at the moment have got an offer on. Right. And everyone should get on this. If you spend over, is it over sixty or eighty pounds? No, cool. no. If you spend over sixty pounds, so that's about four no, no, items. No. <laughs> Sorry, if, beans, if spend yeah. over eighty pounds, you get twenty pounds taken off discount. Okay. So it's perfect. So that makes it the same price as Tesco's. <laughs> absolutely not. If you do the maths, absolutely not. <laughs> to be fair, you are a big Waitrose fan, the biggest ever Waitrose fan we've had on this podcast, Nick Connor. Right? Oh, he, sti he sticks. Oh my god, he has been, but he's been Waitrose born and bred. Isn't oh, he? He, yeah. <laughs> He, he really has gone through the Waitrose Academy. I think, I think Ben's Waitrose as well. So is he? Is he? Oh. To be fair, from his profile picture, he does look like a Waitrose man. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. I mean, who puts ice cubes in their Coke at home? Oh, yeah, that's so Waitrose. Uh, yeah. That is so Waitrose. Yeah. 
<laughs> Bristol Rovers polls, by the way, a massive thank you. I think Bristol Rovers polls um, deserves an applause because they've been through us through the thick and thin this season. Um, I don't even know what league Bristol Rovers are in. They're regular viewers. <laughs> league one. League one. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. This is, of course, the Bristol Rovers fan page. Bristol Rovers polls, battles, videos, and more. Any poll, battle, or video suggestions, okay. feel free to DM Oh, you know what us. really annoys me? Those things on Twitter, like, retweet for Madison and favourite for Vaughan. Like, oh, come on. Not a fan of them? Oh. Just do a poll. Such yeah. tragic engagement on social. So desperate, isn't it? I don't know. Um, yeah, you are the social media man. Uh, he asks, would you loan Sean Rag out next season? No. Yes. Ooh, Maybe discuss. Yeah. I've just to let out. My, well, we've got we've got this unpopular opinion thing that we're going on to. Yes. So I'll let you go first. Okay, uh, I would say yes because last year Tim closest contract. Let him see that out. Okay. Sean Maggot say he goes to Rotherham on loan. That's a season of Championship football. He yeah. comes back and he's ready for next year. That's my thought process. Okay, to the points. Nice. Is he, is Tim Close not worth more whilst he's in contract? Oh. <laughs> well, it depends who wants to buy him, I suppose. Stick that in your pipe and smoke. <laughs> is there anyone yeah, who, is there anyone yeah, else to buy? Yeah, that was one one. I'll take that. So my unpopular opinion is I would love to see Raggett get in there. Starting? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Who are we dropping? Because, but, but, I'm, but I'm also thinking I want Cantwell in there and I'm also thinking I want Godfrey in there and I'm also thinking I want Carl Morris in there. So I'm probably going a bit loopy now. Mm. I've, I've bought in too much. Yeah. Stuart Webber's going to be loving me. I'll, don't worry, Stuart. You can send me the invoice. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so my unpopular opinion is and as much as I love Timmy K, I love him. And on his day, he's unbeatable. But I don't think he's I don't think he's consistent enough. And for a player that's supposed to be good with his feet, I just don't think he's that good with his feet. I think his passing does go astray a lot. Mm. I'm honestly, as a person, he's genuinely his biggest fan. Mm. He is a leader in the changing room. But if I'm Norwich City now, I'm cashing in on a player that's got a year left on their contract. He's on Premier League wages and he ain't consistent enough. For me, I give Sean Ragger the baptism of fire. And I put him in there. And I, get, and I say, there you go, Sean. You want your chance? There's your chance. And if he's not good enough in January, you then, you then sign another centre-back. We're not short of centre-backs. No, we no. forget that you know, people, people, and I know, I know people are going to jump on me for this, but I'm just, I, it's the summer, so I don't give a shit. We've got Russell <laughs> Martin. We've got Russell Martin there, if Marcel need be. Marcel Franca. Absolutely no interest. <laughs> Zero interest in Marcel Franca. I'm sorry, you can absolutely write him off. What a waste of money. Time, effort, I thought resource. you were all about giving people chances. However, <laughs> not for three point. How much was he? It was quite expensive, actually. Yeah. Anyway, right. So we've always got Russ to rely on Good. in terms of if Sean Raggett can't live up to the pressure, you bring Russ in. You've got leadership on the pitch. Then it's a win-win situation. So that's my unpopular opinion, but hopefully it becomes a bit more popular now. Mm. After that rousing rendition, I'll, I'll stick. I'll stick up for Tim close for a bit. I thought compared to his first year in the championship, I thought last season he improved quite a bit actually. Yeah, um, Connor, 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 Connor. I'm sorry to interrupt you. He, he was, we signed him as a uh, this guy could be in Liverpool's yeah. Champions League. Blooming, blah, 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 blah. what a load of crap that is. And I love Timmy K. Well, he's playing Champions League football, wasn't he? Before um, exactly, exactly. I, yeah, yeah I, I, come I, on, you can't say <laughs> oh he's not hit the championship running. Like, come on. No, no, but I think last year he improved a little yes. bit. Yes, he did improve a little bit, bit yes. It was fairly consistent, particularly when Hanley came in. I thought those two formed quite a nice partnership. Yes. And I think what they do have is experience, mm. which perhaps if, if Norwich are going for a younger model to keep that but nucleus of experience at the back... I just think sense. he's an expensive luxury. You've got Hanley in Maybe. there who's already on big bucks. And, yeah. and, and if and if Raggett's there, Hanley puts his arm around him and educates him. I, I think that that works. Forget yeah, about Zimmerman as well. Timmy K, he scored a fantastic goal against Ipswich, and it was brilliant. And and Timmy K, as I say, on his day, he is a ten out of ten defender mm-hmm. on his day. But I don't think his day comes often enough. I think it's every three games he has a blinder. And I don't think in the championship you can have either of your centre backs having a bad game. You look at the teams that have done well this season that have been up 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 and about there, the likes of Cardiff, the likes of Wolves, they haven't got a shit centre back. Well, yeah. Got Ryan or they've no no sorry, they've not got below a, yeah, you're very true. <laughs> but they've not got a below average centre back. They've got two really solid 
defenders that don't make mistakes. Yeah. Right. I'm not, and by the way, I don't know yet because I've not even seen Sean Maggot play. But I, ju- <laughs> I just, I just think it'd be nice, wouldn't it? He can head a ball miles. I've not seen him with his feet. Okay, fine. Can well, I'll take that. Wasn't miles. his first touch in Championship football? Him clattering from behind yeah, and perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. proper ball. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely proper Brexit football. Yeah. Him and uh, This is Mark Neal uh, about some nice chat, Mark. Is he good? Yeah. Well, good old Mark. Uh, he doesn't have a bio, which is oh, he likes Italian football. What so are you doing? He likes Italian football. Yeah. Why is that not in his bio? Italian football connoisseur. Mm. <laughs> he loves a flat white as well. Uh, oh, Mark Neal asks: man. the need for a striker is obvious, but at the other end of the pitch, who gets your shout for the starting goalkeeper? Well, okay. I've kind of covered that. Haven't I? Is it Remy for you? Yeah. Yeah. Me I want to see Remy. It there. is for you because. Me too. Yeah. You get the fans on board, yep. mate. Look at the look at the connection the fans had with Angus this season, and how much confidence that gave him. I saw, I yeah, I, I want Ravis to be in goal. I think he probably will be in goal. But I mm. think also from perhaps Stuart Webber's point of view, I think they'd be silly if they weren't looking at Dean Henderson on a free. Okay, I, I think most Championship clubs will. So, but we've got to get rid of Mickey. You can't keep Mickey and get Dean Henderson in. Yeah. I, well, I, I, well, I don't think Remy would say as number two, would he? Anyway, no. No, but my point is, I want Remy's number one. Yeah. But you don't want Mickey as number two. But you can't get no, Dean Henderson in probably, I'd probably as number two. Put Oxford in there and well, give him a year of where. Uh, we know that delight, TNC is the official <laughs> love club of yeah. Aston Oxborough, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah. It's Indeed. not a goalkeeper, it's just love him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true. Um, Will Granty 3. What are you about to say? Keen, Will Norwich City fan, home and away. Um, I love your work guys so much you uh, must take some credit for how good you are thank you Will um, yeah cheers Connor <laughs> <laughs> I love your jeans by the way oh thank you what do you think about Connor's jeans can we just are we questioning these Italian mm. they're good for grand cheese aren't they <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ribbed. ribbed are you a fan yeah. of ribbed uh, in jeans or yeah. other <laughs> devices I'm asking Connor this direct question ribbed do jeans do you like ribbed uh, jeans yeah Ribbed, ribbed, ribbed jeans. jeans. Yeah, um, I haven't actually seen ribbed jeans before, but you might have brought them into fashion. If you're listening to this, you, Connor has got some wonderfully like those bits of crafted. Oh, they look like cat scratches some or something. Nice. They're scratches incredible. Yeah. They're the kind of trousers. You know yeah, who would wear well. those trousers? Mario Vrancic. Yeah. Wow. No, he would. Yeah, he would. Hair now. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Um, Anyway, Will, I'm just trying to. (laughs) Sorry. There's a distinct lack of punctuation in this. I'm struggling to to read it. Hang on, Jack. Come on, be nice. Do Do you think Todd Cantwell could live up to James Madison's abilities? No, but he's a good player. You're writing him off already. No, I just don't think he's good as James Madison. So you're writing him off? No, because I I think he'll be. I think he'll be. I just don't. I think Madison will excel. I don't think Cantwell gets the levels Madison. Why? Um, Because I think Madison's a bit better technically. So you've seen enough of Cantwell technically to, I've, to write I've, him off? Yeah. Have you? I've, I've, watched, a, yeah, I've watched a fair few 23 games. Which, which I, I'm surprised he got to this stage. So he surprised me. I want him to keep surprising. You're surprised he got to this stage? Yeah, I, I, he's always a bit lightweight for me. But, you know, he, a lone move from in, in Holland, I think, is a, is a great idea. I think more young players should go abroad, to be honest. So we'll see where he comes back. I, I probably said the same about Madison last year. Probably would have wrote him off. So yeah. we'll see where we are in a year. But I think it's a great opportunity for him, particularly if Madison goes. You're shaking your head, Chris. Yeah, because he wrote Wes off as well, but then Wes <laughs> was absolutely dreamy for the rest of this season and proved that he's that one game. Capable. That one game. It wasn't the one game, was it? But it wasn't the one game, was it? Anyway, anyway, Todd Cantwell, what a fantastic young talent agree. that is. I agree. And if you're going to listen to anyone, not being arrogant, but I'm being arrogant, I've got James Madison bang on, believe the hype. Some people um, still... Um, actually, I'm not going to mention... I'm not going to mention um, what I what I'm going to mention but anyway James Madison amazing player Todd Cantwell trust me trust me on this I think he he'll, I think he'll be a banger of a player I think he'll be brilliant I think I, I kind of know what, what Connor's trying to do here he's trying to not over hype a player and he's trying to say he might be okay for a season but maybe it is best that he goes out on loan mm. and you know what I'd agree with Connor on that I, I think Madison will play for England I'm not sure Cantwell will okay that's, that's love that goodness. love how all these people are now saying yeah Madison for England love that mm. music to my ears um, now Salute and Sabrani asks us a question we've already answered <laughs> but uh, this is one of the best bios I've seen some say that when he scores his hand is automatically attracted <laughs> to his head <laughs> and, that he's, and that he's also never smiled in his life <sighs> all we know is he's called Sabrani um, he's yeah, his profile sure. picture is Sabrini, his header is Sabrini. Dennis Sabrini, we haven't talked about him. 
probably rightly so. C- could he score goals next season? Well, he could. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whether he will or not, so. Um, I'm willing to give him a pre-season and see where we are. Come. Would you be happy August. going into uh, into August or whenever the season starts with him as our number one striker? No, no, I, I wouldn't. Thank um, God you said. But that. he's he's potential, isn't he? That's what yeah. I suppose is what you class him as. Mm. Um, yeah, I think they need someone who's a bit more, who's a bit you, more polished. You, you need a bit of flavour. He's he's a stew, isn't he? He's a stew. If you were to, if you were to, to, to a put, winter warmer. No, he's not. He's just a really average soup, isn't he? Like just mushroom soup. You need mm. a bit of flavour up front, mm. and we have no distinct flavour. We've not got a physical player. We've not got a fast player. We've mm. not got someone technically gifted. We've just got Sir Benny. Yeah. I mean, he's okay. Yeah. He's so okay. He's, yeah, I'm he's, sorry to write him off, and I feel bad for him because I'm sure he's a nice guy. He's, he's good. There was sort of uh, that, that game against Nottingham Forest on the Tuesday night. I thought he's woeful, but there, there were a few games. The one against Villa, um, I'm trying to think. That was a Fulham. I think he was okay, but there, there were sort of areas where I thought he was okay, and he's done some stuff well. His first touch needs to improve. Was that no, no, no? Was that you know what? You know what? You know what I loved about Savelli this season. Loved it. The fans went, oh, oh my! You know, he's, he was this piss poor that the fans went. Oh, he's worked so hard in this game. He's worked so hard. But you know what? On the other hand, of the, on the other side of, of the boat was Nelson Oliveira. Well, he only works hard. Mm. So hang on a minute. So Nelson Oliveira works hard, but doesn't deliver. But you're going to compliment Sir Benny because he works hard. Mm. Eh? What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. It's a good point. Yeah. Every, every, every. That means a lot from you to say that to me. Every player should work hard, shouldn't they? That should be a given. Um, Except, yes. Yes. Should Connor. Be a given, you can come on here more often. <laughs> What is this about? Oh, he works hard. All of the players work hard. It's a bit like an oh, bless them, isn't it? The yeah. players have w- the players are slaughtered by Daniel Farker. Slaughtered pre-season every every week. Bang, bang, bang. Fitness Germans, fitness Germans. L- literally, no, it's true. It's yeah, true. It's we know it's that it's true. Yeah. So don't say oh, he works hard. They all work hard. Praise them for working hard. We hope they work. But hard. Cu- but that shouldn't be the only thing. No. They've got to have something else. No. Uh, just on the strikers quickly, I, th- I think a lot of strikers uh, get criticised for not scoring goals, which I know is their job, and mm. this is going to sound a bit odd, but it's, it's not the only thing strikers need to do. That's true. There are some strikers who... Is that an unpopular opinion, I hear? Maybe, yeah, it might be. Okay. By by design, I think some strikers don't score as many goals as other strikers. For example, if we pluck out, I don't know, say Jordan Rhodes when he was at Blackburn, scored loads of goals, but in games didn't really offer much. Uh, if you compare him to... <laughs> But he scored loads of goals. He did, yeah. But, uh, but he scored loads of goals. If he didn't score goals, you didn't notice he was there. So, yeah, yes, he's, he's a goal scorer, is what I'm saying. He's a natural goal scorer. That's his job. He does it well. But there are other strikers who... And Lewis Grabben, maybe, at Norwich. <laughs> scored lots of goals. Maybe. Um, there, are, there are strikers who link the play a bit more and a bit more for the team. No, I know where you're at. as many goals. Yeah. But you need um, two up front to have that player. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah, agreed. And I think Norwich need more of a, a sort of what I'd describe as like a complete forward if you ever play football manager. That's a good reference. Um, Thanks, Con. I think right. I went to for my lunch today. I went to the, oh. the Mushy Pea stand on Norwich Market. Possibly my favourite. No, no, no. This is going. Hang somewhere. on. Did you say Norwich I'm, Market? Yeah, yeah. Norwich well Market. done. No, I've gen- the this best is genuinely going somewhere. Norfolk. Anyway, I've gone for their There's chips there as well. I've gone for their special today. I had a bit of money in my purse, in my wallet. Um, I had three pounds, and I thought I'm going to go for the Summer Sizzler. So the Summer Sizzler is um, pie, peas, and mash. Wait, okay. Why is she going to do this? So it's three pounds. It's their special, but above the summer sizzler, and it's the exact same deal. It was called the winter warmer. So they'd crossed the winter warmer up and just renamed it the summer sizzler. It's the same thing, but it delivers both winter and summer. What we need is a striker that delivers whatever the occasion. An all-weathered striker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need a winter warmer yeah. slash summer sizzler. Was that a good? Five, and was that a five-minute segment on the? <laughs> and it needs to be good value as well. Right, yeah, I agree. So I think... Yeah, yeah. good piece, Jack. Yeah. I might clip that up for the socials, it was that good. Go down <laughs> to the pea stand. Um, George Crisp asks now, what's George yeah, hang Crisp? Hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. What a fantastic name. Is his second name actually Crisp? Yeah. That's wonderful. Really? I bet, um, he, I bet he's been bullied for that blessing. Music student and football enthusiast, supporter of that team we call Norwich. Top 16 man. Legend. I see we're being linked with Patrick McNair. Would he be a good signing? Should we fail to sign Harrison Reed or Morich? This is like a that? this is a Connor question. This stinks of Connor. Good player. Is it Paddy McNair? Yeah. Is that short for Patrick? Yeah. Right. Okay. 
Yeah. So is Patrick McNair? It's a good player, but no, I can't see it. No, it's too, too expensive. Yeah. Oh, I, think, I, think, I think Brighton have been linked for about five million. So yeah, oh, so if Brighton are interested, no interest. <laughs> Brighton did he's, he's very much a Chris Hewton player. Oh, God. <laughs> Bit of older midfield, I'm not sure Norwich need him. So. Get rid. Now, unfortunately, I've been viciously refreshing this mentions feed but there's been no question from Willemots this week which oh. I am a little bit worried so instead I'm going to search um, you're going to search I'm going to search for Willemots you're going to search for Willemots see what he's been up to he's got a lovely new pr- profile picture of his <laughs> lovely wife um, <laughs> Big oh now this is an interesting one Chris now yeah. you tweet me this so sure. um, he went out for a, for a lovely birthday treat with his gorgeous wife Joanne Bun it was very yummy Lovely picture of the afternoon tea. Now, you've done some investigation work on this, and you've seen that Willemotts has a Norwich City tattoo on his bicep. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Mm. Do you like it? First of all, hashtag respect the bicep. <laughs> right. Top work on that. Yeah. Um, you know, I love, I love, this is a great laugh. You know, people with Norwich City tattoos, mm. I've got so much interest in that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine being that, like, you know, no, no, on a serious note, yeah. like, Connor, have you got Norwich City tattoo? You literally would die for the club, like literally. Like, no offense, but I wouldn't die for Norwich City. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? I, I just think they are the hardcore. Mm. They are re- they really are the hardcore. If I came over with a Norwich City tattoo, I'd get kicked out. I don't think I'd be allowed in the door. Wow. I think that'd be game over. <laughs> so fair play to Willemot's wife. Can we have a clap, for Willemot's yeah, wife? Yeah, clap up. Clap up. Um, the, the thing that disappoints me slightly with this afternoon tea, though. The fact that there's actual petals on there. Why are you mixing flowers with cake? Jack, he's Wilmot, so he can do what he wants. He's using his he garden, knows so. his grass, he knows his herbs, he knows anything out of the earth. He's a man of the earth. He's a man of the <laughs> he's earth. He's at one with earth. Isn't yeah, he? no, he really is. And of course, Whatever he touches turns bright green. <laughs> yeah. And let's not forget, this is, of course, the daily life of contract groundsmen. Come rain or sun, weeds will always outgrow grass. Um, do we have any other questions? There was one about Abel Hernandez, I'm not sure. What was that? Yeah. I can't see it. Um, what do they want to know? Would he be good on a free? What? Oh, Abel Hernandez. Yeah, Abel. Sorry, not oh. yeah, Abel from Hull. He's the Hull geezer. Yeah. God, imagine, I think imagine, his wage is a bit higher. Imagine, imagine what Leeds, that, isn't he? He's going to Leeds. Yeah. Could you imagine the scenes on Canary Call if there's two <laughs> Onel, Obel, Hernandez? Like, I mean, yeah, yeah it, it wouldn't be fun. Yeah, um, would be Chris, have you seen any other questions? Um, or do you have any, any questions for us? Uh, yeah, I've got a question for you guys. What do you? And I'm okay. So <coughs> we are <coughs> eight games in next season. Mm-hmm. Just playing it out. We're eight games in next season, and we've we've drawn three or four, and we've lost the rest. Okay. Wow! So we haven't won yet. No, we're eight games in. Bloody hell! What What do you do, Stuart Weber, at that point? You sack Barker. Eight games in. Eight yeah. games in. Yeah, we haven't won, Connor. You've drawn three, and you've lost the rest. Fulham were mid table at Christmas. I think we're rock bottom if we haven't won in eight games. No, Is that progression not winning in eight games? You, you you said you wanted progression, Connor. Um, I didn't say I wanted progression. I said so, supporters might. Um, so you don't want progression this season? Awesome. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't sack him. Um, just because the, cha- the championships are league where you put a run together you're at the top six you lose a few you're okay then on the edge of I relegations you saw the season when we lost to Brentford at home so you're sti- right, so both of you are sticking with the projects no I'm, I'm sacking you really yeah, he's eight games in he's gone he's okay gone, yeah. so Connor let me test your resolve okay okay it's Christmas yeah actually it's not Christmas actually yeah it's Christmas it's Christmas time mistletoe and wine we are mid table mm-hmm we're mid table, right? But it's one of those we're mid table. Mid table, lower mid table. We're below Ipswich. Okay, so we're below mid table. <laughs> okay, we're in the relegation zone. What, are you are you at that point saying that you've had two solid good transfer windows? Mm-hmm. You've had at least one good opportunity. Yeah. Sod the World Cup bollocks. Mm-hmm. There is some truth in that to be transparent yeah, yeah, but, but is, not yeah. that much I mean come on every team's players got to deal with it for, yeah every team's got to deal with it we're all level I, I, I think I think in regards to the transfer you just very very quickly I think it, things will liven up once the sort of, I think it's the European market opens on the 9th of June isn't it so things might hot up then and great knowledge when Riyad Mahrez goes to Bla- uh, Man City I think things will hot up then mm. as well well is there a chain that ends up at Norwich then at that point Madison 
to Leicester. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, with you. Anyway, so okay. I'm not being, I'm not being, well, I am being negative, but yeah. I, I'm just planting the seeds with you guys because for me, I personally feel like if you're halfway through next season, and I know people gave you flack for giving Farker until Christmas this season, but mm-hmm. whether you like it or not, he strung together three or four really good, solid games, wins, I believe, and um, three of which were away from home, great victories, and deserved to keep his job, obviously. And I'm not saying Farker isn't good enough, I'm just saying that. I think we just need to be a, bit, a wee bit realistic, but at the same time, not expect it to all instantly click next season. Mm. Yeah, and I'm just a bit. I'm a bit. I'm personally a bit apprehensive, and I'm not. I'm not optimistic, and no. and I worry. I worry that if we're in the same point next season, towards Christmas time, you're going to lose so many more fans because you've had time for the project to kick in. Mm. And there are no, there's no excuse. There is just no excuse. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think there's there's an argument, maybe not that I'd present, but I think there's an argument. Why wouldn't you present it, Connor? Because I don't necessarily agree with it. But, but I think there's an argument presented <laughs> by some people that say the project hasn't sort of truly progressed until you, your likes of Naismith and Jarvis are yeah, at the door, which yeah, I think is fair valid. Um, I don't think I'd, I'd toe that line, but I, I think it's fair enough. Uh, I, th- I think if if we get to that stage next year and you're mid-table, I, I think I, I don't know if the club would pay Farker off to be completely honest. If, you, if he's got half, if you've got half a year on yeah, his contract, fine. Well, if you've sold James Madison and you've got seven million in the bank, how much is Farker to pay off? Do you reckon by well, Christmas? Probably, well, he probably wouldn't have long. Trips quite trips. Yeah. Anyway, let's not talk this up because it might work. Mm. But I'm just putting it in the room. It's going to yeah. be interesting. And I think there's going to be a real, as much as ever, the club wants everyone to get behind it, and I'm so behind the project, but at the same time, next season, honestly, to put it out there, if I get, if I start getting excuses from Daniel Farker after games, mm. eight, nine, ten games in, I'm just so, so not buying it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too negative. I just need a player. I just need a player. To, I need a kit. I need a kit mm. to buy into. You need a Norfolk show. I need an yeah. Norfolk show. That's what you need. But at the same time, it could work. Um, but I, 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 to be honest, I'm incredibly worried that the Ipswich are going to do uh, do okay. That worries me because they're normally absolute shit. But I think they might do okay next season. That's a nice segment. It's almost like you've done this before, Chris. Um, Ipswich, they've gone for Shrewsbury, Paul Hurst. There was a lot riding on that Shrewsbury game. The, yeah. Maybe the futures of Ben Godfrey and Cutler Morris. Ipswich have now got the manager after Jack Ross. Didn't fancy going there. <coughs> Apparently there wasn't a job offer on the table. I think it probably was. Um, Ipswich, in all seriousness, oh, uh, I'm, uh, will be more of a challenge next season. I think so. Yeah, I think so. But but I think Hurst is a natural progression for McCarthy in the sense that his football's not radically different. Um, he doesn't need to go in there and overhaul the squad to play possession football, uh, You know, particularly when they try and run things on a, on a shoestring. Um, what he will do is, is give more energy to the midfield and I think he'll, he'll work in the championship because it's not too dissimilar from League One in the sense you, you set a team up to be organised and we tend to do OK. Mm. Um, where OK is in the league, who knows? But mm. um, yeah, I think they might do a bit better next year. Do you think he's, a, do you think he's been overhyped by North City supporters? Do I think supporters? he's been overhyped? By North City supporters? Um, by Jack Reeve? <laughs> Yes, is the answer. Yeah, there? yeah. Well, I think you can you can overhype him and say, well, he's an upcoming British manager, which I think, from my point of view, is always good to to see young British managers given a go at. at, at I was going to say big clubs, but not big clubs, championship level. Yeah, I've got a bone to pick with you about that. So we'll get on to that. But continue. Yeah. Um, but I, I think you know, at the point they managed, lost the playoff final. Um, mm. Oh, I love that line. Love that line. You yeah, should, you should be a German. But you got them there. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and, and it was an unbelievable achievement. But you know, they were in the top two for half the year and mm. fell away completely. So, so you're saying he's a bottler? I'm not saying no, not at all. <laughs> uh, I think I think he's he's maybe not as experienced as the two that went up. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's an interesting appointment. I think their fans will get behind it. They certainly should. Now, Chris, let's tweet up. <laughs> Sorry, just keep, keep talking. I need to get this tweet up. Um, to howl here. What Absolutely I was going to what I was going to say, Chris, is in in all seriousness, let's just you know say that Ipswich might be more of a challenge next season. Let's not forget they finished above us this season. Just found it. Um, go on, just, you, you, it's you, an absolute stinker here. This is this is classic Connor trying to be too nice. He doesn't want to take sides. Right here we go. Right, so he's he's quite retweeted at Shrews Web. Well, I wouldn't do it, Ipswich, would I? 
no, fair play. So, first of all, great marks for that. This will be done soon. Yeah, fair enough. It was. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Yeah, <laughs> good. A, bit of it, a right? lot of those bullshit <laughs> transfer accounts say that as well. Yeah, yeah. A true. good proposition for Hurst. Yeah, true. Because mm-hmm. he is League One failed and playoff final manager. <laughs> the financial constraints are well documented. Yes. But promising youngsters. Yeah. Have they got promising youngsters? Yeah, they've got that chap whose name I forget. Which that is, promising, you can't remember his name. Is, uh, How many uh, promising Sambian young- with. Is it like Dozzle, something like that? Dozzle, Dancer? Andre Dozzle. Yeah. And Tristan Nyden. Yeah, and uh, they've got a few they've got a few young lads. Actually, there. really, they've got two promising They've produced players. more academy products in the last 10 years than Norwich have. Absolutely. Agree with. Great point. And Norwich have won. So. Brilliant point. And I'm, and I'm ashamed to admit that. And that's a brilliant point. But here is the stinker. <laughs> Absolute howler here. And a large support base. Larger than Shrewsbury. That, no, 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 no. A large support base. You did not say <laughs> compared to Shrewsbury. What are you doing calling Ipswich Town a large support base? That what, Were you pissed when you wrote this? Were you like... I don't the, you know what happened? Know. You were normal Connor. Fantastic words. Absolute poetry. That's why he writes the, the website articles. That's why we hire him. You know, bang, 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 bang. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then all of a sudden, the double vodka kicks in. Large support base. <laughs> I mean, Connor, come on. Your job's on the line after that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll stop bullying him. It was a great time. They've won a really European Cup in the 80s. Uh, Did they? Uh, yeah. Don't oh, say yeah. that. They don't mention yeah. it. No, they don't. Um, anyway, any any last <laughs> messages? We've, we've somehow gone on for an hour. It's been, it's been tough work this week. Um, Chris, we've got, I don't know how long, until the start of the season, quite a while. Yep. One thing you want to see done in that time. Oh, that's really difficult to say because there is so much work to do. There's so much work main to do. Main thing. What's the main? What's the thing? main thing? Okay, the main thing is to bring in a striker that has got championship experience. For me, we need that. Okay, Connor. Yeah, um, I'm, in, I'm in a really funny place about Norwich because some some <laughs> some days I wake up and I think. Yeah, we're just two free players away from the playoffs other days. It's, uh, and some days dudes. you think Ipswich has got a large support base. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll blame that ex- on the exams at the moment. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and stresses. Um, what would I like to see? Um, Wes come back? You like Wes, don't you? I love Wes, but he's, he's gone. Um, and all good things <laughs> end. <Come to laughs> end. And he'll, you know, he'll have a testimonial, yeah, which would be cute. lovely. Um, what would I like to see done? Quite like to see Lightner come back, maybe if 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 the Madison money's in our already. dreams. Um, You're dancing around this, Connor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, Connor. Let's let's go. Yeah, I'd like to see a winger and a couple of strikers. That's probably more than one thing, but I mean, you've Three got your, you've got your winger and Yannick Wilshere, so a couple of strikers, cool, brilliant. Um, Yannick Wilshere for you then? What bring him back? You bringing him home? Well, he'll, he'll to Wigan. Well, he's coming home. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but are, are you are you starting him? Um, Ahead of Josh Murphy, and no. Um, I think he'd be a good rotation with Hernandez. He could play wing back. <laughs> you know what? I've got this weird feeling that I Josh mean, Murphy's going to tear it up next. No, I, 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 I do I, like no, Murphy. Honestly, I've, I've just got this weird feeling. I just think that after that first year of, of his bro leaving, and that that is a challenge, whether you like to admit it or not, it is a mm. challenge. Um, and then also adapting to Daniel Farkas style of football and knowing what he wants. I think if Josh Murphy is played in a more, in a relaxed role, he needs to be given freedom. He, deliver... he? he needs to be given freedom, mm, exactly. Uh, mm. And and you know perhaps be in a system where he's not relied upon defensively so much. I want to see the Norwich City kit. That's what I want to see. So okay. can so you so hurry up, striker? Um, Romy Matthews in goal. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Review us on iTunes. Loads of you done it last time. I think we're nearly 100 reviews and most of them are five stars, which is lovely. Boom. If you enjoyed it, give it five stars. If you didn't enjoy it, don't give it a review. Um, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you to Connor. Thank you to Chris. And come on England. Website. And come on England. Oh, of course, the World Cup. Yeah. Come on England. England. You, you, you must have World Cup spirit. Did you say you're not an England fan? No. Come on, panel. Right. <laughs> Finish this now. Finish this now. <laughs> Up the panel. <laughs>
8 seconds, 5 minutes and 8 seconds.